I personally believe that if I give you a fish, it's not as beneficial as teaching you how to fish. Today's introduction is going to be on several videos that are related to C2C in doing graph gam work. You know the pictures when doing corner to corner, that's what we're going to be discussing today. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to quickly talk about it and then we're going to do a walkthrough of the pattern itself on screen and then I'm going to leave you to be able to fish. So we have a video on how to do corner to corner in the graph GAN format, reading the graphs, making the graphs, and also doing color changing and being able to do all of that. So that video has been around a long time and I used my friend Sarah from Repeat Cracker Me as an example to be able to do it with a teddy bear. That video is actually widely used and there's a lot of kudos on it and I think it's almost the standard when it comes to this. So what we have is over the years is Yarnspirations has presented as several patterns, like tons of patterns in C2C format. And the problem with the C2C format is that, you know, I could show you row by row and changing the colors on a particular pattern, but I find that people will say to me, you know, I wish you would have done a reindeer instead of a bear, or I wish you would have done a lighthouse instead of something else. And so for me as a tutorial host, it gets very difficult to be able to comply with those kind of requests because the fact is, is that once you understand how to do these graphs or even make these graphs, it's basically up to your own story of what you want to complete. So I'm going to refer to that video in the video description if you would like to access that because that is where you can learn to fish instead of just eating fish. And therefore, even on your inspirations, the crochet crowd, uh, repeat craft with me, for example, you can find these graphs and basically run to town if this is a concept that is in of interest to you. We are seeing more and more pop art when it comes to the corner to corner that you'll see here uh, on our selection. So in the more information of the video, not only is the video on learning how to do this concept also there, but you're going to see a whole whack of other patterns that are available where the graphs are already done for you. So that's really quite exciting. So without further ado, I'm going to talk specifically about the pattern that was showcased in the thumbnail and we're going to walk through each one of those and currently on my list I have 22 of those and so each one of those will be a different video and this is the same introduction for each. This here is the corner to corner crochet school bus blanket by Repeat Crafter Me and it is wonderful just it's so exciting love the little detail from the school at the top at least she spelled it right that's give her credit for that <laughs> myself I'm not so sure um, and then it has a little license plate just for the school bus you can do whatever you want and let's take a look at the pattern itself that uh, Sarah's provided to us a really neat idea um, she has the crochet diagram in order to work it and this particular one you're going to work from this side and work diagonally to create the little school bus sarah absolutely loves her c2c work when it comes to all of this particular concept and i just think it's absolutely brilliant so this here is the corner to corner um, crochet school bus blanket 